Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. Today we're gonna be talking about closet essentials, staples. What am I calling this? What your closet is missing and why you always feel like you have nothing to wear. I wanted to sit and think about what pieces make getting dressed in the morning the easiest for me or at night, whenever. And I've created a list that isn't like super, super basic, but I think is very informative. So in the description box, because a lot of my pieces I'm gonna talk about are thrifted, I'm gonna link three items for each point I hit and like one at a cheaper price point all the way to a more expensive one, just depending what your budget is and what you wanna spend. Obviously any of these things can be thrifted, and I suggest doing that because you can get the most high quality piece for the least amount of money. I get it's not for everyone. So make sure to check out that description box. Also, a little bit later in this video, I'm going to talk about another way you can save money with Upside. Thank you so much to Upside for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it. What's the first thing on my list? Because I have the brain of a peanut now that I'm pregnant. I can't think of anything. So this is a little bit more aimed towards fall and winter because we're moving into that. I can do another one in the spring and summer when that time comes around again. Something I feel like really makes or breaks an outfit in the winter time or the fall time is your jacket. Most of the time that's the only thing people are really seeing depending what you're doing and where you live, especially in Michigan where it gets freezing. The only thing people see are my jacket. So in college, I wore, you know, like a big parka all the time. And even in Chicago, walking around, I was wearing that big parka. And I never feel like cute in the parka or even really a puffer jacket. They are cute, but they don't always make an outfit. A lot of times they just like break an outfit. But I think if you're in the market for like a new winter jacket and you want one that's going to make your outfit, a wool trench coat, a varsity jacket, or a fur jacket are the best, the best. All three of those I have because obviously doing like YouTube and fashion, I tend to have a little bit more than the normal person in their closet. They're all three very different styles, so I feel like you could pick or choose one of them to have and just like have your staple jacket. You throw one of those on any outfit and immediately it looks so chic. I think my favorite if you're trying to pick one would be the wool trench coat. I think that this will last the longest in your closet. If you haven't watched my video about how nothing is timeless, go see that and that's why I'm not going to call any of these pieces timeless. But I do think a wool trench coat will last the longest. They honestly keep you so 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 warm. Again, make sure it's wool and mine is thrifted. It's super easy to thrift. It like goes past your legs. You're literally a burrito in it. It's like the super long parka but just a little bit more chic and like fashion forward. The other thing I love about the wool trench is that you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. I will pair it over like a sweat set, like joggers and a hoodie and then put my wool trench on and I really like the look of that. But then also if I'm going to like, I think I wore it to my friend's wedding. I was like a black tie event and I could wear my wool jacket over it. So the wool trench is really, really great. The next one being the varsity jacket. I think maybe if you're still in high school or college, this is a great option. At my high school, people were wearing their varsity jackets as winter jackets all the time. And again, if you layer stuff underneath, it's more than warm enough. I got mine off Facebook Marketplace. My dad actually got it for me and it's just Triumph motorcycle jacket. I think if it has leather sleeves and you know that wool kind of vest part. It'll keep you really, really warm. Again, I love wearing it with just, you know, like sweatpants, super dressed down, but you can also wear it like a night out and it's really, really cute. And the last one being a fur jacket. I'm not gonna link any fur jackets in the description box unless I find some vintage ones because you're not gonna get the warmth of a fur jacket from a faux fur jacket. And I get if you just like don't wanna wear fur because it is kind of gross, but if you get it secondhand, it's sustainable, it's already made, the animal's already gone. <laughs> I don't know why it's, I'm uncomfortable to talk about this, but I just really don't suggest getting a faux fur jacket or buying fur firsthand. If you're gonna get a fur jacket, you've got to, got to, got to get it secondhand, and they will keep you so insanely warm. They are so chic. Again, I think it's really fun to pair the fur jacket with like a super dressed down look. Adorable. Amanda and I, when we went to New York Fashion Week last winter, we literally wore two fur jackets on the plane, and it was the embodiment of like sex in the city when they go to 
to the baseball game and they're all wearing like couture. I think it's just, it's funny and it's so cute. So I love it. But again, only secondhand. Do not buy faux fur and do not buy fur firsthand. That's gross. Next thing is something really, really obvious, but I feel like not a lot of people have it and it's a pair of jeans that you would genuinely love. I can't wear any jeans right now and I can't tell you how much I've realized I miss jeans because they make your life so easy. When you have a pair that literally fit like sweatpants and I could like sleep in them at night and I would be comfortable, when those are gone, oh my god, it's so bad. And I don't know if those will fit me, you know, after I give birth, so I don't even want to think about that and trying to have fun to find them. I think vintage jeans is really the best way to go because they're worn in, they're so soft, like a butter, like a true 100% cotton is what you want to look for. Denim jean. I also think thrifting jeans is a lot easier if you know you like a more vintage style because those jeans will be 100% cotton and not break the bank, especially if you're somebody who likes a lower rise or just make the a looser fit jeans checking out the men's section at the thrift store a1 i find so many of my jeans that way i keep wanting to try on brandon's jeans my boyfriend's because i'm pretty sure they fit me now and that'd be really nice i don't want to buy like new clothes for pregnancy obviously my body is changing every single day but you want to make sure that you're getting jeans that fit your body i just wanted to turn off the ac because it got too loud and i literally just electrocuted myself because nothing's finished in the studio <laughs> I'm hurt. I need a second. I don't remember what I was saying, but jeans. Go to the mall and just try on a bunch of jeans until you find a pair that fit you right, especially if you have no idea what style you're looking for. I think, you know, going to like Abercrombie or one of those places that has really high quality jeans now and like spells it out for you, like these are high rise, these are low rise, these are mid rise, these are mom fit, boyfriend fit, skinny jeans whatever um it'll really give you a good guidance and then you can go to the thrift store and you might know a little bit more of what you're looking for because i think going to the thrift store and trying to find jeans before you know what style fits you the best is like impossible i have like goosebumps because i just got electrocuted the next thing i always find that i am gravitating towards or was missing in my closet for a really long time are a pair of knee-high boots. I literally feel like my brain just got like melted. So I got these off Poshmark. They're the brand, they're the loft, but they're this really pretty leather knee-high boot. I love that the toe isn't like round or square. It just feels pretty timeless to me. It's got this like white stitching that I think is so fun, the contrast stitching and the heel height. It's like two inches, which is honestly like pretty low. So I feel like these are such like a casual boot, but can also be dressed up. The reason I say a pair of knee high boots and not like just any leather shoe, and they don't have to be heeled. Honestly, like the black like riding boot and all that is coming back. So that's really nice if you're really opposed to heels. But the thing about the knee high boot that is so good is first of all, it keeps you so warm in the winter time. Like adding that extra bit of leather up your leg makes such a difference. So that's why in the summertime, these are kind of awful to put on. Also, my calf is too big to zip up in them right now. I love that these go so well if you do decide to wear like a mini skirt and tights and these in the fall or winter or then midi skirts and these boots are my absolute favorite to wear because they just really elongate your leg. I love these with wide leg pants and just like, you know, the boot part shows so pretty and even if you wear skinny jeans and tuck your jeans in so 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 cute i really don't think there's anything that don't go with these they could quickly replace like all your black leather shoes in your closet so if you don't have a pair of knee-high leather boots i do really suggest looking on poshmark or depop because i think vintage leather boots are the best but again i will link some down below for you guys just really think about what you want in the boot though some people would want a higher heel some people would want no heel some people would want a rounded toe or a square toe or a pointed toe some people would want the stiletto heel and if they dress up a little bit more some people would want that block heel 
there's so many things to look at in basically all the pieces that I'm saying. There's so much um, variety and that's what I really like is that, you know, a hundred of us could have these items and nobody's outfits would look the same. But I'll link my favorites below if you can't decide. Before we get any further, I wanted to take a moment to talk about our sponsor for this video, Upside. Inflation is happening and it hits us where it hurts. That's why I'm loving Upside right now. Whether it's gas, eating out, or groceries, I can get cash back. It literally sounds it's too good to be true, but it's so easy. My favorite thing is using it to get gas because I'm always gonna need gas. You go on the app and you find an offer near you. You click on the offer, you have like four hours to use it. And then after you get your gas, you tell them what card you used and then you can get the offer that is already explained in Upside. I love it because you know exactly what you're getting before you go there and you can read through everything near you to make sure you're getting the best deal. With the cash I'm saving on Upside, I can finally just go and get a pair of maternity jeans. If you guys want to download Upside, it's available at the App Store and Google Play. You can use the link in the description box. And if you use my promo code Elaney, you can get $5 cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. The thing I love about Upside too is you can cash out at any time. And the difference between Upside and regular credit card rewards is you can earn three times more with Upside. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week, which is why Upside probably has the 4.8 rating on the app store. So remember, click the link in the description box, download Upside, use my promo code Lainey, and you can get $5 cash back on any purchase, $10 or more. Thank you again to Upside for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the rest of the clothes. Okay, the next thing that is so important, and I think it's looked past a lot, is an oversized sweater that feels like a crew neck because these are my favorite sweaters in the whole world. I have two of them now. I recently just got this one, but if you guys follow me, you would have seen this sweater a million and four times. They're by the brand Izod, and I thrift them. This one was literally two bucks. I don't remember how much this one was because I've had it for a couple years now. They're 100% cotton. This one's made in Japan, and this one's made in Jordan. But just a cable knit oversized crew neck sweater. I wear this more than like any of my hoodies because the material of it is literally more comfortable and like breathable and cozy than a hoodie. And you look so much more put together with this kind of cable knit. This cable knit texture, like it literally makes your outfit look like you put a little bit more thought into it opposed to just putting on a crew neck. And I still am so pro crew neck, obviously. I really suggest thrifting them because, and going in the men's section, those are both men's uh, sweaters. The men's sweaters are so much more high quality and there's so much more of them in that kind of style. So if you're looking for that, go to your thrift store and look in the men's sweaters. They should be putting out sweaters by now. I also recently just got this one, which is a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller, which can make it look a little more formal, but it's just not as comfy to me. This one has a really nice plaid going through it i've been into red it's got a red plaid like burgundy i don't know it's cute and i can see myself wearing this again all fall and winter long and not looking like i'm in a sweatsuit still like sweatpants and sweatshirts but i really think those will just elevate your style so much when looking for those again look for 100 percent cotton because it's just more high quality it's up to you whether you want thicker or thinner material how oversized you want to go or if you want to go more fitted i also have this thrifted sweater this one's eddie bauer again it's a little bit smaller i don't wear it as much but when i do wear it it feels a little bit more put together than the giant giant ones i have so it's just up to you whatever you want so many different colors and patterns you can pick for that like any of those sweaters and a pair of jeans literally such a cute outfit and then if you pair your black leather boots with it like you look so chic and you're not trying at all i love it okay and the last thing i have to talk about this video was so easy to film if only i didn't feel electrocuted is a t-shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt i don't think i have any out here right now just because none of them really fit me right now they all look like crop tops on me, which, you know, is fine sometimes. But looking for a t-shirt that is long enough and hits wherever your pants end. So again, this will be different for everyone. If you're somebody who wears high-waisted pants, you can get away with a little bit more of a crop t-shirt. And having your t-shirt 
and your pants meet perfectly, you will look so put together and like you know what you're doing and you know the shape of your body and you know what clothes to buy. Instead of having a super crop top and low rise jeans, if you want to look a little bit more like age appropriate, I don't really know what to say about that. But obviously you can have your whole mid drift out, but sometimes you don't want to. I never want to. And if you wear more low waisted pants, getting a t-shirt or long sleeve t-shirt that is long enough to hit the edge of your pants again. Then again, you can look at necklines. I like a t-shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt that comes up a little bit more, like right to my neck and has a smaller neck hole. I also like my t-shirts to have a super short kind of, what's it called, like a baby tee cut on the sleeves. And I like my long sleeve t-shirts to be You guys, I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> For some reason my camera stops recording and it says my memory card is corrupt so I really hope that everything I just filmed is fine and I just can't film anymore but you know we'll find out later today that would suck but I really have nothing else to say about t-shirts I'll link my favorite ones down below thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see the anti video of this about things that you don't need in your closet let me know Seems kind of negative, but I've been a hater being pregnant. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you again to Upside for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out the link in the description box. I love you guys the absolute most, and I'll see you in a few days. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I should say that. Bye.